Hi, this is Elena, and today we are going to talk about how to change Korean adjectives into adverbs. Adjectives and adverbs are similar in descriptive words. Adjectives describe nouns and adverbs describe verbs. A uh, 큰 집, big house. So here, 큰, big is describe 집, house just before the noun. And here, 집이 크다, the house is big. So this 크다 is describe about the 집 at the end of the sentence like a verb. So 천천히 움직인다, move slowly. The adverb 천천히 is modified 움직인다 just before the verb. But in English, this slowly just after the verb, okay? And 빠르게 밥을 먹었다. It is 빠르게 quickly 밥을 먹었다. I ate. So this 빠르게 also described 밥을 먹었다. This group of words just before, okay? And as they have similar function to describe it, it is very easy to change adjective to adverb. So in English, the simplest way is just adding ly after the uh, adjective, right? So loud becomes loudly and quiet is quietly. Happy becomes happily, all right? And luckily, Korean also has a similar method to make adjective to adverb, and that is K. So when we attach a K just after the base stem, you can make adverb from adjective. So let's make it. Loud is 크다, and we can make adverb how 크게, right? And quiet is uh, 조용하다. And here, uh, stem is 조용하, so we can make quietly 조용하게, great. And happy is 행복하다, so stem is 행복하, so happily is 행복하게, great. And let's take a look at in the sentences. So 크게, loudly. 관객들은 크게 환호했다. The audience cheered loudly. So cheered loudly is 크게 환호했다. So 크게 means loudly, 환호했다, cheered. Great. And let's see the next. 조용하게, quietly. 그는 조용하게 떠났다. He left quietly. So left, 떠났다, quietly, 조용하게. So this order is different, okay? The next one is 행복하게. So 나는 행복하게 산다. I live happily. I live, 나는 산다. How? Happily. 행복하게. Now, we are going to learn two ways to make an adverb clause. There is group of words, but the function is the same as an adverb, okay? So the first of the two is 기 때문에. And this expression corresponds to because in English. And we already learned a similar connective ending before. That was 니까 and 아서 어서. So in comparison, 기 때문에 is used more appropriately as an answer to a question begins with why, 왜요, 왜. So 기 때문에 has a more logical nuance. Okay. So when you look at the form. 기 때문에, it is just attached after the base stem. So 적다, small, becomes 적기 때문에, because it's small. Oh, and you know, 적다 and 작다 is different, right? So both translated small in English, but 작다 is about size, like my eyes. 제 눈이 작아요, but this one, 적다 describe the quantity of object or people. So the number of people is small using 적다. And the amount of coffee is small use 적다. All right? Okay, next. 맵다 means spicy. And how to make because it's spicy? That's 맵기 때문에. Great. And bad is 나쁘다. And we can make because it's bad. 나쁘기 때문에. Alright. 
Okay, now then let's look at this adverb clause in sentences. So first, 적기 때문에 is used like this. 급여가 적기 때문에 지원자가 없다. There are no applicants because the salary is low. 급여 is salary. Because the salary is low is 급여가 적기 때문에 지원자가 없다. So there is no 지원자. 지원자 is applicants. One more time. 급여가 적기 때문에 지원자가 없다. Alright. And let's see the next. Next one is 맵기 때문에. Let's see the sentence. 소스가 너무 맵기 때문에 조금만 넣어야 한다. 소스가 너무 맵기 때문에 because the sauce is too spicy, 조금만 넣어야 한다. You have to put in a little bit. Alright. The next, 나쁘기 때문에. So, I prepare a short conversation example. Okay, the first I say, 이 식당은 가기 싫어요. I don't want to go to this restaurant. Then you ask me, why? Well, and I answer, because the rumor is bad. 소문이 나쁘기 때문이에요. So here I say, 나쁘기 때문이에요. Instead of, 나쁘기 때문에. So you can use this pattern when you want to say a simple sentence that starts with, uh, because something is something. Like, uh, 소스가 맵기 때문이에요. Or, 급여가 적기 때문이에요. Then next, let's move on the last expression, 을 때. And this expression lawfully corresponds to when or in times in English. And it is combined with the base stem. So when the, there is a 받침, we can attach 을 때, like 좋을 때. And if there is no 받침, 받침이 없으면, we can attach 릴 때, like 기쁠 때. Okay, and we'll take a look at how to change adjective into adverb clause. So first, good is 좋다. And it becomes in good times. This is 좋을 때. Okay, the next one, cold in Korean, 춥다. So when it's cold is 추울 때, right? And glad is 기쁘다. And once joy, 기쁠 때. Okay, then let's take a look at in the sentences. So the first one, 나는 기분이 좋을 때 춤을 춘다. I dance. 춤을 춰요. 나는 춤을 춰요. When? When I feel good. 기분이 좋을 때 춤을 춰요. Okay, next. 날씨가 추울 때는 따뜻한 국물이 먹고 싶다. Let's see. I want to eat. 먹고 싶어요. What? Warm soup. 따뜻한 국물이 먹고 싶어요. When? 언제요? When the weather is cold. 날씨가 추울 때요. So, 날씨가 추울 때는 따뜻한 국물이 먹고 싶다. Alright. The next one is 기쁠 때. So, 네가 기쁠 때 다시 만나자. Let's meet again. 다시 만나자. When? When you're happy. So happy is 행복하다 and also we can say 기쁘다. So I can say 네가 기쁠 때. So when you are happy, uh, let's meet again. 네가 기쁠 때 다시 만나자. All right. And now it's time to review uh, what we've learned with a blank quiz. So uh, find the right adjective in the box uh, after reading this each sentences and change it into the uh, right adverb type, all right? So number one, 네가 blank 살았으면 좋겠어. I hope you live happily. What is happy in, in Korean? That's 행복하다. Let's make it adverb. That's 행복하게. 네가 행복하게 살았으면 좋겠어. All right, the next one. 급여가 blank, 지원자가 없다. What is it? There's no applicants because the salary is low. Salary is low. All right, so we need low. That's 적다 in Korean, right? And how can we make it? 급여가 적기 때문에, 적기 때문에 is because something is low, right? Something is 급여, 급여, the salary. Okay, the next one. 
음, 나는 기분이 blank 춤을 춘다. I dance 춤을 춰요. When I feel good. Okay. So good in Korean is 좋다. And how can you say that? When I feel good. That is 좋을 때. 기분이 좋을 때. All right, so that was the today's lesson. So if you want to study more, then you can use this textbook. Have a wonderful weekdays and see you next time. 안녕!